Have you experienced feeling like something's missing and not really able to quite put your finger on it or able to express it? There may be an aspect of you that hasn't been tapped into and possibly unrevealed to you as yet. It's time to dive into the mystery as your soul may be calling you to dive in, explore your deeper desires and take pleasure in your divine feminine to be more fully you and feel fully expressed. We're delighted that you've joined us. Now, here's the host of Divine Feminine with Marcella. Welcome, everyone, to the Divine Feminine with Marcella. I am your host and guide, and today's topic is following guidance, and it's a topic near and dear to me, and before I dive in, I'd love to share with you a little bit more about me and how I came to be with uh, divine feminine and how divine feminine actually moves through me and in a way that really taps into following guidance and how my deep service service to many women and um, the men also that showed up and all in between of uh, tapping into divine feminine so uh, taking a deep, little just a moment for a deep, little breath a deep breath as we dive in so that you can receive and listen to what the messages are for you today as we're beginning to weave into today's topic. Again, my, my dance of the divine feminine, a little bit more about me, I first came to really feel and recognize the goddess, the energy of the divine feminine through my exploration of the sacred feminine. And that came first for me through the art of Middle Eastern dance, also known as belly dance. This call, this deep call, like really allowed me to tap into like what was missing, what was inside of me that was calling to deepen into my body, um, the energy of sound and movement and the mystery, the mystic, the energy that is divine, this a Shakti energy, which is also like a vivifying force um, that moved through my body. And not only that I allow myself to deepen into my body in a way that helped me tap in deeper to my intuition, following my guidance that like awakened parts of me that um, were asleep. And it felt like they were asleep for like ever, right? For this lifetime um, before then and before other lifetimes of uh, my power is really deepening into the, the divine eternal energy and the divine feminine energy really spoke to me. And I had this dance, this dance of um, tapping in at, and out, going into um, my body and also tapping out because um, what I felt and experienced was also um, a lot of energy, emotions and unhealed wounds that were not only mine, but others, mine in my own experiences and like family lineage, other people's as an empath, deep empath. My work really brought me to understand myself as a psychic intuitive, as an empath, as a, um, a healer, uh, you know, working with energy. It helped me first tap into the energy within myself and how it showed up um, in layers, in different forms, emerging, unfolding, was for me to really listen, deepen, and understand um, the way spirit, the where the divine, our divine, really moves th through us as part of our own ability to tap into magic. And I know in previous shows, speaking into the mystery, the feminine magic. And when I speak into the divine feminine as an energetic, it's an elect like electrifying force that really calls us to really feel embodied, our body templed and temple. And this time, you know, really knowing that we're here to heal a lot of old trauma or deep in trauma of others and um, the way that different cultures can keep us con disconnected, yet there's an essence there. So today's show, following your guidance, my first question to you is, do you follow your inner guidance? 
you know, deepening into the call of divine feminine. And, you know, this show is divine feminine with Marcella today's topic. We will definitely tune into what following guidance means and how to explore and exploring possible consequences when you don't follow your inner guidance. I'll also tap into and share what it feels like when you're trusting flow and experiencing the blessings, blessings, the blessings, the blessings of following your inner guidance or how you may feel trapped in life or trapped in situations when you're not following your guidance, our guidance, right? As a collective guidance, right? This space of being tapped in inner and outer and connection to a, a, a bigger community, communion, community, right? Community, communing, communication is all in this dance, this connection to following guidance is this communication, this communing with your divine force, your divine higher, your higher essence, your, your wisdom, your energy that as I spoke into before, divine orchestration. And as I shared, what is following guidance and following guidance looks and feels different for everyone. Yet there are certain um, ways that we all get to experience um, in the collective, like even you know, communication words, words has a sacred um, source and it's how we tap in, how we allow ourselves to tune into um, sacred symbols and connections. What's the energy that's moving through it? So we can allow ourselves to feel the energy and the presence of words and guidance through how we tap into ourselves, how we allow it to come forward with energy, with intention, right? So this inspired connection, inspired spirit in our energy and how we move through the world. And the energy of guidance speaks into the flow, the, the forces, what's underneath, what's ab- around us to help us to really navigate our higher instinct. And how I speak into that is um, tapping into your body in a way that you get led by your higher connection. And your higher connection, again, is attuned to that which you are here to be of purpose, to your own flow, your own sacred force. And first and foremost is tapping in, deepening into your vehicle, your body, your expression. And that is this flow, right? This, this energy of flow. And I'm moving my body like snake-like, right? And snake-like allows us, like I shared yesterday with a, a power, uh, a powerful force that I'm also in connection with and co-connecting and collaborating through guidance. Um, she is definitely a mystic and connecting to me as calling me forth as a visionary priestess, as a priestess Ness really got tapped in when I was being called by this reclaiming, this re-energy of the goddess and the divine feminine in deepening to listening to this reclamation, this re-embodiment in a way that has reverence. So following guidance, allows you to deepen and connect to your inner power that flows you. And I want to keep sharing flow and follow, follow flow, right? Sacred text, sacred movement, how things connect, listening to how you speak, the energy that comes through in following guidance. Do you allow yourself to follow guidance? And follow means flowing follow means listen to what the path the path that emerges in front of you are you in your own divine path do you let yourself come into places that you have ways that you commune and communicate to spirit your higher spirit your higher self that lets you follow guidance so for example for me I receive messages through specific images, right? And these images can be 
right in front of me, like through words, through books, through, you know, through um, signs, specific signs. Like um, I know that I start listening to something that starts coming into my, my awareness. So if it's something that I am asking for guidance about, and when that awareness comes in on my every day, if I'm doing uh, like my walk or coming into um, nature or, you know, grounding myself in tapping into this energy of the trees or nature. And this question starts coming back into my head, right? Come back into my awareness, my insight. I know that there's what I've learned, right? Through my own emergence in my own connection, that something in the field, my energy field is about to show me an answer or an aspect or a nugget or a clue or something to follow that's around or leading me to give me answers, right? To give me even, you know, like um, spaces of a threshold into my own flow or guidance on where to lean into. So this tapping in to deepen where I feel the guidance more is when I'm allowing myself, I'm getting the information, okay, pause, let myself become poised, listen deeper, feeling my inner beingness so my womb space right my ground my root my back my spine as I do that I become more heightened right this heightened energy and I'll speak into this as intuitive instinct so that then my intuition my receiving my intuitive guidance is coming in an instinct an instinct is this energy so my body can move towards it where it the move can be a paused a pause, the move can be stillness, deepening, listen, listen to my heightened awareness. So this call to come into deeper, higher awareness, heightened, and then see what shows up in my energy field. And again, it can be a visual sight. It can be uh, an animal, a call. It could be a sound. It could be um, the clouds. I spoke to the uh, clouds around diving into the mystery as a scrying, as allowing the clouds. Now I'm in conversation, this communication, communion, and I get to see like from outer, my outer sight, um, all my senses, like my heightened sense comes in, what is showing up? And this dance communication, sometimes it's an actual word, right? That shows up. It's like that, that's the answer, or that's an aspect of the answer. And it's like this adventure, right? <laughs> this mystical, magical adventure. It's like, okay, what does that mean to me? What, what it means to me through my past experiences, my intuition, whether it's this life and other lives, you know, tapping in through my body, knowing that there, we are eternal and I've received guidance from different forms, my, um, my pet family, and I say pet, but it's, you know, animal intuition through, you know, spirit family, where it's whether physical or non-physical in ways is like, yes, we are eternal, tap in what is being shown right now at this moment for, for you to know that you are in the pulse, right? And what it looks like for me is again, is listening, communion, communication, allowing myself to learn many languages, different languages that guidance comes forth for you. Guidance is here and you are the receiver and the initiator, the in, intuitive, right? The one that also has an intention. So this inner guidance is in, I, N, all of the in, is tap in. How does guidance want to show for you? And I just, this powerful way that um, it's, it's like unlimited possibilities of the way that it can show up as you as a vehicle, as a tuning fork is following guidance. First and foremost is the intention, right? That you want to be in your flow, your guidance, your connection. And my in invitation right now is for you to just pause and listen. Ask yourself through this moment as we come into this first break, how do you allow guidance to come to you? How do you follow your inner guidance? As we're on the top of our first break, take a pause, let yourself feel that. 
Again, today's topic is following guidance. And at this first break, you are listening to Divine Feminine Show with myself, Marcella Barone on the Inspired Choice Network. When we return, we will continue to tap in and tune into following guidance. We will be right back. Are you a woman who's been possibly feeling like you're going through the motions and not really feeling fully engaged in your life and or your love life? Not feeling fulfilled or seen and wondering, is this all there is? Reignite your passion pleasure and divine essence desires by tuning into the divine feminine with marcella show where she guides you into the mystery of your feminine magic listen to divine feminine with marcella show every friday at 2 p.m eastern 1 central 12 mountain and 11 a.m pacific on inspiredchoicesnetwork.com you'll be so pleased that you did Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspire Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspire Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. Welcome back to Divine Feminine with Marcella, the show that awakens your feminine magic and deep dives you into your essence and desires. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. Welcome back, everyone. I am Marcella, and you are listening to Divine Feminine with Marcella. I am your host and guide, Marcella Liliana, and today's topic is following guidance. Before the break, I was sharing with you this dance, this connection to following guidance and ways that it showed up for me and how I allow myself or was called to really deepen into my body through this energy of connecting to the divine feminine force Shakti through many ways that the dance came to me. And in this process, which we'll talk in future shows, actually next show around releasing energy that disconnected me to listening or tapping into my body or ways that um, life, right, showed up that showed me that the way that I was living through life and through way culture and other forms also kind of brought experiences for me that had me tap out of my body. And a part of following your guidance is this reclamation and loving, you know, yourself coming back in in whatever form that you and wherever you are, that you tap in, letting yourself deepen and loving your body as strongly and um, fiercely that you can. And fierce, it can also be in the softer and gentleness and connecting to your, your being, right? Your being and where you are, why why you're here. And if you're listening to this show, I know that the divine feminine calls you in divine feminine. I call in the way that love moves through you. And this is to all, right? Whether you um, are embracing and expressing the sacred feminine, which is um, in this embodied magic, embodied body of the sacred feminine um, through calling in um loving, deepening, and this embracing around knowing that we need to be in balance and this harmonizing and love with the divine feminine, divine masculine, and how it shows up in life, in the physical is through the sacred feminine and the sacred masculine. And again, there's all this juicy connection in this spectrum of how that looks like and how it shows up, right? And why, why you've shown up 
in this body, this time, in the way that you have. Um, and I know from the women that have showed up for me, and again, my work is to embrace and calling in guiding women to embrace their feminine magic, their feminine magic and deepening into love and feminine magic, right? There's so much flow, right? It's, it's a mystery and a way that we get to explore. And it's so unique in the way that it shows up in your body and this divine essence. So divine essence is a myriad, so many ways that it can show up and following guidance can be experiencing the love of life, right? Love of the magic and adventure of life and following guidance does have this powerful pulse that helps embrace our experience that where we may need to explore healing, right? And deepen our wholeness, um, trauma, um, and any ways that there may be pain, right? And I want to speak into the way that we can use these experiences as guidance. So I know for me, there was, I was receiving this pain in my body last year, this way that um, I was like, okay, well, this is information. This is information. What is the pain sharing with me? And, you know, sometimes we have to do what we need to do to be able to give ourselves space so that we can um, understand and know where, what pain may be telling us. And it, this could be a heartache. This could be pain in the actual physical body in, in, um, in aspects of where is the pain coming from? It's, it's telling you something, it's giving you information. So what I am sharing is guidance comes in many forms, right? And it doesn't always have to look like um, a pleasurable uh, in the moment experience, like fun and joy, but there is a underlying energy that we can tap into this eternal, this joy of living in life that we are in a power in this co-creation that wherever you are, there is something there for you to really notice and sit back and know that you are that co-creator. You are in your power and pain, which wants to be spoken to into now, can be a catalyst for you to deepen your connection to your spirit, your divine understanding, awareness, your knowing, your guidance system. So. For me, there was this understanding. It's like, I know something, something is calling me to transform. Something wants to transform. Something wants to transmute. Something wants to shift. And in that, I'm going to emerge. So it's kind of like a phoenix rising. So something is shedding. And we'll dive deeper into that in next show, how that looked like for me. But I knew that there's guidance here, right? In the calling in. And sometimes um, I know from, you know, working with, myself and my own journey and other people is where are the pain points that also bring you to say yes to following guidance listening to like yes to yourself right and it may um, show up so that you can listen deeper stronger more attuned to listening to your own flow and guidance system right? So there's an empowering piece there, um, deepening into flow. So I'm going to pause there. So for me, following guidance showed up in different ways. And I'll, let's see, okay, this is what's coming up. I had a few reasons, reasons to share this, but I was feeling into where did this wanted to weave in today. And first was sometimes following guidance feels like life and death. It's like something's happening with family, right? Follow, you know, following like, okay, right now it is so potent imperative. It's like life, death. I need to call it in, call the prayer. It's like, this needs to happen. And um, trusting that, trusting that guidance, how did it help me? Like for one time, I remember thinking, you know, my sister was going through I have three sisters and a brother. So one of my sisters, right? Um, also a sacred sister. I know that we're soul sisters for many lives as we are. I am with all my siblings, but it feels um, specifically around this potent part of my psychic intuitive knowing and vision. So through 
this emergency call, right? This spiritual emergency that was happening for her. It moved me into saying, yes, I need to do these pieces that help me deepen into the communion and communication and understanding, calling forth my magic um, and medicine through working with crystals. I have a selenite wand here actually given back from to me. And mm, it's interesting given back because it was a gift from my sister who I'm speaking about now. Um, this pointing is selenite that I'm holding is listening to the energy of attunement through the following guidance that comes through vibrational medicine, and specifically the man the the magic that comes through crystals and essential oils. And again, this essential, this energy of essential to listen, to follow your guidance. It's this life death feeling that I had for her. It's like, if I don't help her, she's now it's like so important, right? It's so significant that it moved me to take actions, to call in what medicine, what magic, what want it, what can I um, lean into that is here to support in this transformation and transmuting that happened um, with her and myself. And so we had this co-creation and like that what she was experiencing was a spiritual emergency and actually activated a the spiritual emergency in me to be able to shed some things for both of us to really hone in our mediumship, um, her medium in her way and my psychic intuitive and mediumship in my way. And so a stronger pulse. And this is going back um, 15 years ago, about 15 years ago. And I was already dancing and doing different things. Um, and when I'm saying dancing, it's like dancing through life. Uh, I was already working with feng shui. Feng shui um, was a way that oh, I followed guidance that I needed to tap in and, and follow um, a, the practitioner path. And it was a way that I got to experience listening and following energy, learning about energy on different levels and sacred space, our framework, our framework around us, like what, where we get to really use our environment as sacred um, rituals, sacred altars as also transformation and transmutation. So what happened was a bigger level of understanding my uh, experience around eternal divine guidance. And why I'm sharing that is so that you understand and you know that you get to be listening to guidance through many ways that it can show up. And it shows up in possible spiritual emergency. It's like this, this portal that happens and can open up for us that we, we get that it's like adrenaline energy and fear as I spoke into before is a way that we can have inner transformation is an energetic and energy that we can use as force. And it opened me up. It, this process opened me up and really tapping in moment to moment, where am I being guiding, follow the signs, follow the signs. And it was really um, potent, right? It was really a time I keep saying really right the really really uh, a heightened awareness is like listen step by step each path pebble was put in front of me right go this way go this way go this way talk to this person this person you know this this shamanic person this person um, intuitive healer right right you know do a research right now it's like words were coming to me this 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 so like each drop in supported her but I know that because it was my sister she's my youngest sister because it was happening through her I listen where it, I kind of put this in the background for myself like here yes here here yes but it was like no now you must as an older sister like because of love listen I listen 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 oh my gosh so much so much um, unfolded for both of us and, and it's deepening. Actually, what came forth for both of us was empowering us into our body to center, to ground, listen, deepening. So there was a deeper empowerment that happened for both of us that grounded us in different, in different ways. So as I shared before, it was like a fierceness and also this gentle compassion, like love is like, what is my value, love? first and foremost, as the divine feminine shows us and reminds us. So pausing and breathing into that love, 
right? As a force, as an energy coming and first and foremost, most bringing that in, that will show up in many ways. Now we're coming into this pause of this heightened energy right in the middle of the show to our second break. Again, you're listening to the Divine Feminine with Marcella. And we are in the Inspired Network, Inspire Network, <laughs> Inspired Choices Network. So this is your choice, right? Choice. It's the choice of listening to your guidance. Following your guidance is today's topic. And when we return, we will dive deeper into following your guidance. We'll be right back. Are you a woman who's been possibly feeling like you're going through the motions and not really feeling fully engaged in your life and or your love life? Not feeling fulfilled or seen and wondering, is this all there is? Reignite your passion, pleasure, and divine essence desires by tuning into the Divine Feminine with Marcella Show, where she guides you into the mystery of your feminine magic. Listen to Divine Feminine with Marcella Show every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 Central, 12 Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You'll be so pleased that you did. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Welcome back to Divine Feminine with Marcella, the show that awakens your feminine magic and deep dives you into your essence and desires. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Welcome back, everyone. You are listening to Divine Feminine with Marcella's show, and I am your host, Marcella Liliana on Inspired Choices Network. And our topic, again, is following guidance. So before we went on break, I was tuning into and sharing ways that guidance can show you and bring you back to center and who you are, your values. Following guidance can come in many forms as a threshold and portals that can be open that allows you to really feel into the way that guidance moves you, the way that you are magic, the way that you have the power of tapping in and shifting, changing, moving, choosing life, choosing through the way you move, the way that magic moves through you. What are ways that you follow guidance? And as I shared earlier and, and the top of the show is how do you follow guidance? That question, right? I am asking, right, for you to listen. How do you follow guidance? How does, show, how does guidance show up for you? This way that communication and communing to guidance allows you to follow flow, right? Give you the experience of blessings and miracles. Like I shared a specific experience I had with my sister that allowed me to really expand the way that I follow guidance, the way guidance showed up for me and the way that I allowed myself to tune in and trust that there are answers, there are ways that we can really feel into the flow and guidance in our path in life that really support us. The deepening, the gratitude, right, of the blessings and the gratitude for the situations that show up in a specific way that it show, you know, sh following guidance showed up for me was through spiritual emergencies. And that will be a way that we tap in and, and a future show is what is a spiritual emergency and what the spiritual emergence 
is from that experience. And we may have minor, mini ones or big major ones. And I'm gonna take a, a, a breathe here so that we can really feel into magic and following guidance. And I invite you to have a time to make space to create a journal. I ask this of my clients to have in following guidance or intuition uh, journal or intuitive journal so that we can capture, we can capture moments that we knew we were following and also moments that showed us that we needed to learn from that we didn't follow guidance. And this, and this next part, I want you to feel into the places that you may have Follow, followed guidance and may, maybe the places that you did not, right? And got yourself in, in situations that you feel trapped or felt trapped. So I know from my private work, there have been <laughs> uh, countless um, situations that were shared with me that were parts, in parts that showed me how people get in situations that they're not following guidance and how the guidance also is like blaring at them and they're looking the other way and that can be you know learned or internalized reasons why we don't follow guidance so you know intuition can you know be vilified right I'm going to use that term because I know that a part of my work is also shedding and healing places that vilify the feminine, right? And that is something that we're here to also embrace and heal and really get empowered in our sovereignty around loving ourselves fully, the divine feminine masculine, divine feminine, this dance and relationship because this dance is our power and vilified so that we get tapped down out of our power and following guidance is tapping in to deepen your power. And situations that were shown to me is like marriages, people getting into marriages or, or relationships and continuing relationship that do not really feed their soul, that do not really um, empower them to fully, really live full out and ways that we can really feel trapped. And where I want to take you is even if you're feeling trapped, there's always a glimmer, there's always light, there's always places that if we listen and allow ourselves and call in the intuition that is a lot shows us you know as I shared before like the breadcrumbs or the the rocks the past the glistening crystal rocks as I work with crystals as part of my magic um, to, to show you where the path is where are the openings ah, but pausing that letting yourself come in to First is how asking, how does guidance show up for me? How do you already listen? Because I know that there are ways that we do listen, right? You do listen, even if you may feel like I never listened to guidance or I don't know how to, or take a moment and pause and ask. Let yourself receive the messages. Where do you receive the messages? Even in that moment is like through your body. Does your body give you um, clues? Because I know for me, and as a you know, clairsentient, a way that I can feel if I'm going the right way or not, I I get clues. Like a, an aspect of my body says yes, right? There's like little dings, little like dings, like a good good ding, like yes here, like a little. It's like a tap on my body when it's a yes, or I get a warm feeling in places in my body, like that feels good, I guess. And then there's like little constrictions or a tap in different parts of my body saying no, or listen, or pay attention, right? So allowing yourself to just take a pause and, and listen to when you're about to make a decision. Don't make decision, take a pause, poise. Where does it show up? Does it feel good in your body? Does it say, take a moment, you don't have all the information? don't make the decision right now or, or yes, a full yes through uh, a decision that you're making. So your body is a way that you can really deepen into connection and communion where 
following guidance or following your inner guidance shows up. I mean, it's always going to come through your body, right? Through your sight, your sound, your awareness, and um, this embracing around following your inner guidance helps you really create a stronger and even more enhanced language that guidance can show can show you where to go, how to how to tap in. I you know I I, I read faces. You know, my following the mysteries I share shared was going to um, seminars and different workshops and things that helped me hone the language of following guidance. So as a as a five element face reader through the feng shui, reading spaces, reading body language, reading um, energy, reading astrology charts, uh, tarot, nine star keys, is another astrology connected to feng shui and the five elements in the I Ching, um, divine feminine energy through our body, reading uh, um, energy that comes through vibration and sound. Sound is a um, through voices, different ways that we listen to following guidance, following guidance on which way to go as a guide, as a, also part of my path as a guide in, in different forms of soul reader, uh, um, sacred arts facilitator, facilitator, right? It shows up in many forms and um, numerology, numbers, right? So then I have this way that relationships can show up in telling me what's in what's in guidance and what's out of guidance, right? Following guidance and not following guidance. I know that I had a relationship way back. I know, it's been a long while that also showed up what needed to heal, right? In the way that um, we we had a conversations and how things showed up. It was things were kind of happening like this is not the right relationship for you. What parts of you are you, was I, I'm saying you, but was I, the question was my higher self asking me, <laughs> you not listening to guidance, which way um, was I through this relationship, was I diminishing um, who I am because I was needing to deepen into connection to valuing myself on a deeper level. And that also showed up in, learning that conversation, learning that in that relationship also showed up in making, saying yes to me, because in that relationship, as I was getting out of that relationship, the feng shui, the guidance that came in to go into feng shui and going deeper into energy work and um, listening to my spiritual path, like a lot of things happened as I was getting out and I kept saying yes to me and so much of the miracles and the following the flow and the guidance and my own um, path um, showed up when I listened to the guidance that was coming forth in different forms that to get out of that relationship. And I have to say, it, the relationship itself was in, in nuance that it was not right for me. So it's listening to the relationship that I would have, if I kept going, it would have stunted me in my own spiritual path and growth my own essence and deepening love and what what I really wanted and desired as my in my life and pausing for that I remember also also in that how to really express the words and the languaging that was coming through the messages and the messages showed up in spirit animals. I work with spirit animals that time that brought me to listening deeper to how we are in communion, in communication, this deeper knowing and essence. And that showed up in different forms. But what is first and foremost important now is allowing yourself to take a moment to really open up open up to following guidance, open up to the invitation, inviting yourself, inviting your higher self to help you dance the way that you have magic, the way that you really experiencing, experience messages and magic that helps you guide. So again, it's a unique way that 
spirit and your higher self communicates with you. So I'd love to, sh- to hear what that looks like. So, you know, in future shows and, and now if you want to share with me in chat as we go in this last break of the show, this last part, this last quarter of the show, um, we'll dive deeper into following guidance in a way of blessing. So again, you are sh- listening to Divine Feminine with Marcella here at the Inspired Choice Network. We will return and dive deeper into following guidance. Are you a woman who's been possibly feeling like you're going through the motions and not really feeling fully engaged in your life and or your love life? Not feeling fulfilled or seen and wondering, is this all there is? Reignite your passion, pleasure, and divine essence desires by tuning into the Divine Feminine with Marcella Show, where she guides you into the mystery of your feminine magic. Listen to Divine Feminine with Marcella Show every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. 1 Central, 12 Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You'll be so pleased that you did. Welcome back to Divine Feminine with Marcella, the show that awakens your feminine magic and deep dives you into your essence and desires. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Hi, welcome back to Divine Feminine with Marcella. I am your host and guide, Marcella Liliana, and we are here in the Inspired Choice Network talking about following guidance. And before the break, I shared a, a, a different ways that the language, the languaging and the communion can show up for you around following guidance and uh, or the invitation for you to tune into what it looks like for you and trusting that even if you feel like you're not following guidance or you don't always follow guidance or you're feeling somewhere in between or in situations, it's like ask ask for the guidance. It happens right now in the moment, right? The intention to lean in and to let spirit speak to you, your higher self through guidance in any form, in any which way. And as I've learned through my journey is you can ask for specific ways to be led in the intention that you are learning and deepening into following your guidance and signs can come up in many ways. And I remember for me in the women's spirituality graduate program, this is before I signed up at this point, I way back in 20, this was 20, 2012. And I had uh, moved um, from New Jersey. I'm originally from New Jersey to California, the San Francisco Bay area in 2010. Actually, I was being called in 2009 because my sister was being moved out there um, through her company that she worked for. And I knew it was like my practice was receding. I had like this part-time practice in feng shui as I was still learning. I've started certifications in feng shui and um, was in a master's program on transpersonal psychology and so many different ways that I was tapping into listening deeper to hone my magic, hone my intuition, hone my spiritual path. Um, and the call, listening to like, there was more to life and how my sacred work kept showing up in different forms. So I remember the women that were showing up in my practice and part-time meaning because I was still doing different layers and, you know, versions of this. And I was having like the women that were calling forth for my, you know, my sessions were women that were looking for a soulmate, a soul partner. And I already was um, in different forms taking classes. I was a social worker at that time. Well, previous to that, I was a social worker. So I kind of already had that guidance aspect of me. Social work shared with me how to 
be in session with people, give people guidance through um, a one-on-one -on -one sessions. And, and that then led itself through, I was also doing tarot and had psychic intuitive connections with tarot um, sessions. And, and then that weaved in even deeper and stronger when I became a, an advanced feng shui practitioner. So like listening to all these pieces that showed up for me to be able to be of service for myself, for my family, for friends and vice versa, how it showed up for them, for me. Um, so these women that would show up for me, I knew that even if I helped them in their space, they were asking for something deeper, more embodiment so that they weren't giving themselves away for you know looking for a soulmate as an answer in, in a way that I shared. Also, I was in relationship to that. There was a relationship that I was like rem remembering and reminding me that what I was looking for is a deepening into my own love, my own essence, my own energy, me as a, my own soul, right? Loving in relationship with my own soul. So I remember um, going deeper with that. I knew that there was more of an embodiment piece that needed to happen and calling that in. It's like, I'm feeling this and, you know, having this relationship and conversation with following my own guidance and my own journaling. It's like being called. You need to, you know, to go to the, to the Bay area. And in that I was in this process of diving in deeper with women and went into the yin project, which is part of my work that um, listening and deepening into the art of feminine presence. And at this point, you know, diving into the art of feminine presence was a, a, a way for me to come into my body um, and coming now into master teaching of the art of feminine presence is deepening to bringing it back into me and knowing that my practice and my offerings needed to evolve, needed to go forward. Like I, I just kept getting like, I know there's more, there's more and taking a moment to listening to guidance, following my guidance. I remember that I was getting the guidance that I needed to go into a uh, a graduate degree program that I was already now in the Bay Area. I was already, you know, learning and deepening um, the way that the practice was changing. And I wasn't just through feng shui and through the, this part, you know, this art of feminine presence was an aspect of it, but there was more. And just getting the, the, the visual, the clairvoyance, and I, I started to see everywhere, graduate program, graduate program. And I was like, oh my God, at this point, I already had three, started three graduate degrees and, if, and they all leaned into everything. So neuroscience, behavioral neuroscience was the first one. And that was about spirit and listening to something higher, like something called the spiritual journey and, you know, learning like, oh, that this isn't it. <laughs> right. And, um, you know, it's like kind of elusive in some ways, but it was like listening to each version of gathering, the gathering through the following my guidance, gathering my path. And then it was um, social work again, I knew I had to go in there. I learned um, certain um, things through that process, you know, through some of the classes, but I was like, this isn't it, this isn't it. So I had, you know, gathered there and left that and then transpersonal psychology and transpersonal psychology at the time was um, in California, in Southern California. And I was in New Jersey, New York City. I was also um, doing work at the Open Center in New York as a, as a, a volunteer and I would travel. It was intensive. It was the first time distance learning came out. So I was doing some distance learning and I was like, this is almost it. It's almost it. And um, I was like, I, I, and a telling spirit, higher self, if I meant to do a graduate degree, I was like, it's going to be a big commitment. This has to be it. If I'm meant to do this, I know it's going to be three years. Show me because I was being reluctant. So spirit and also guidance can come in through reluctance. I know from my own experiences, like sometimes reluctance is showing me something needs to shift, right? There's guidance coming in, right? And I was reluctant and remembering that I started doing some search. I was like, okay, I, I would, because it kept coming in my meditation, started doing research and there it was. But woman's spirituality. Thank you for choosing to listen to Divine Feminine with Marcella Shaw. <laughs> We're delighted you. that you joined us today. Marcella Barone will return next Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Central, 12 Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us.
Until then, have a pleasurable week. Fully tapped in to your divine feminine.